No, about five days ago, he wasn't even fighting. They called him up because the opponent before wasn't good enough. So this guy, he took the fight with like five days' notice. Yeah, he's, he is a substitute, which is not always good. He couldn't prepare for Vladimir Klitschko, but he, but he talked about Vladimir, and he said, well, I saw some, some, some weaknesses, and, uh, well, I'm going to fight him. In his last fight, the last fight of Steve Fennell was against Hazim Rachman, and he lost that fight uh, by KO in the second round. And I believe in Marksville, in Marksville, his, uh, Vladimir's last fight against Carlos Munro, I believe that Steve Panel was in the audience. Yes, indeed. And he, he said, well, this guy is strong, but I saw something and I can beat him. And here we see the referee, a very busy man tonight, Manfred Kukler again. again. But as mentioned, this is a knockout machine. Literally Klitschko. Excuse me, Vladimir, both yeah. Vitaly and Vladimir always get them mixed up. And there's Steve Panel. Doesn't look like in the best shape. I mean, let's not forget, just flew over a couple days ago from Virginia. This guy's had 27 knockouts, been fighting since 1991, but has never really fought anyone. The most, uh, I guess the best thing you can say about him is he was, uh, has been a sparring partner for some big name fighters like Michael Moore. I think he even sparred a little bit with Holyfield. So, you yeah. know, you never know. But uh, I'm looking actually for an early knockout from Mr. Vladimir Klitschko here. Yeah, that's what everybody expects here, I think. But you have to say that Steve Panel is quite experienced. I mean, he's, he has 37 fights and, uh, well, quite a lot of no names in it. But, you know, remember, as he said before, I saw something. And let's not forget, Thomas, in the heavyweight division, anything can happen. Yeah. That's what we saw in the first fight of Billy Reed tonight. And since he did get a chance to see Vladimir in his fight in the United States in Marksville about a couple months ago, he might have, like you said, seen something that maybe he could maybe employ here. Yeah, of course. But first of all, he has to be careful. Look at the left hand of Vladimir Klitschko. Don Turner, the coach of Evander Holyfield, nice said cut. this is the best left hand he has ever seen. Wow, it's quite a compliment. Yeah, it is. And they worked together with Don Turner when they were in the US, USA, Vladimir and Vitaly. Oh, oh look at that. Yeah, this is a surprise. That's got to be the first time I've ever seen Vladimir on the ground. It's the first time ever. And he's never been on the floor, even in his amateur days, not. Nah. Well, very interesting Whew. what's happening here. Let's see how Vladimir reacts after getting put to the canvas. Wow. Yeah, he has to get into the fight again now. This is a totally new situation for him. Never experienced that. I wonder how he gets along with that situation now. Look at uh, Peter Cole, the manager, yeah, talking to people. Oh my God, there goes my big payday out the door. What's happening? <laughs> Everybody's getting nervous now. Wait! Yeah, everybody thought this Steve Panel has a big mouth, but no. He proved himself right. But I don't know, although he did get knocked down, it looks like Vladimir is right back where he started. Right, he's back again. He's clear. He's concentrated again. But wow. <laughs> he's laughing at him. Look at that. I don't know if you want to get Vladimir so pissed off. I think he's already got him pissed off. Yeah, that was a good left hand. That hurt him. And again. before the end of the first round. Getting a standing standing eight count, like a seasoned veteran waiting to get up at about eight. Uh, he's back on his feet. And there's the end of the first round. Wow, now let's take a look. I'm sure we're gonna get to see that knockdown from Steve Panel. 
We're in the Oberhaus Arena, sold out, 12,000 fans here in Oberhaus in Germany, and they are shocked of what happened here in the first round. Look at that. You saw that hand coming. Couldn't ja, avoid it. <laughs> it's a good experience for Vladimir. Well, I don't know how good of an experience to be knocked down. I, I mean, yeah, I mean, you, it's a good experience. They had never trouble with any opponent. They walked into the ring and went out with no injuries or something. I think this is a good experience because if he really gets big fights, people, the opponents will hit him and he has to get used to that. This is, the sooner it happens, the better it is. All right, let's see what happens in this second round. Schedule for eight, heavyweight fight. Let's see how Vladimir reacts after getting put down for the first time in his boxing career as a pro or an amateur. Maybe his brother knocked him down once or twice, but no one knows about that. <laughs> Oh, this right hand. Yeah, it hurt him. Yeah, left hand again. Oh. Two, three, four, now that was quick. He came out. Six, and it seven, doesn't look like uh, eight, Steve Panel. No, he, that's, that's gone. No, he's nah, gone. Nah, nah, nah. He's saying, no, 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 don't quit it. But why didn't he get up about at six or seven? That's it. He's experienced enough. If he wanted to go on, he should have been earlier up so he can't complain one thing he can say to his grandchildren if Vladimir ever becomes the heavyweight champion of the world I was the first guy to knock him on his butt probably maybe the only one you never know <laughs> so maybe he was smart Ooh. just take the money yeah because he knew Vladimir was uh...